Top story with 27 days until the election. The future of the nation and whether Earth will be hospitable to human life comes down to a few Senate races between Democrats saying Republicans are crazy and Republicans saying you're goddamn right we are. In Georgia, a Republican nominee who is inspiring some mom to withdraw her kid from flag football as we speak, Herschel Walker, faces accusations related to having his own parking spot at Planned Parenthood. Here is how he defended himself against the unblinking eyes of Brian Kilmeade because Kilmeade doesn't know how to blink. No one is perfect. I'm a sinner. We all sin before the glory of God. But every day I get up in the morning, I pray to God to let me do his will. And that's the reason I'm in this race right now. That's right. We are in no position to condemn Herschel Walker's journey to condemn teenagers who made Herschel Walker's mistakes. Democrats are saying Walker is engaging in rank hypocrisy, forcing Republicans to clarify their moral code. God is dead and we believe in nothing. A lot of people have sleazy past. As long as he is moving forward and he is a strong Republican, we need this Senate seat. What matters? to people is how they're going to vote once they've been in the Senate. I don't care if Herschel Walker paid to abort endangered baby eagles. I want control of the Senate. Savvy of Dana Lash to get ahead of what is likely the next revelation in the Herschel Walker saga. Joining me to huff a tube of news glue, then claw some headlines into our own faces is Democratic strategist who blamed her last three breakups on Russian hackers, Lydia Parker. Good evening. Chief Washington Bureau Chief who hangs around pickup basketball games until someone asks him to ref, Jonathan Keene. Hello. Live from outside Herschel Walker's campaign headquarters in Atlanta, chief field correspondent who has gotten a medically dangerous amount of champagne who in his eyes, James Smartwood Jr. Dad. Hey, James. And CBS News senior White House correspondent and tuning out the news contributor, Weija Jang. Thank you so much for being here, Weija. Thank you for having me. It's really exciting to be with you guys tonight. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about that Republican pivot to we just want to win. How inspiring is it for voters if Republicans' new campaign slogan is vote for our craven accumulation of power? So this is uh, something that we had to grapple with um, starting in 2016, right? Right. Whenever many pundits and analysts looked at the now infamous Access Hollywood tape and assumed that then candidate Donald Trump was a goner and the opposite happened. So I think since then, a lot of people have been, um, you know, have been struggling with the big question, which is, you know, the identity of the party. But as we just heard in that clip that you played, James, um, you know, some people just don't care. They want that power. And they, they say, you know, it doesn't matter what the candidate has done. If he's going to be a Republican, we will support him. Yeah, I'm just wondering, Democrats should maybe consider that you may not need to campaign as a morally perfect person to run a country that's just a pile of bloody money. Now, former football coach Tommy Tuberville went on a racist rant, and then former football player Herschel Walker engaged in all this madness. It's become clear that we are paying for our ungodly love of the golden calf that is football, and to save this nation, we need to somehow reverse football. I propose we blast Joe Theismann and Troy Aikman at each other at the speed of light, thus creating anti-football. Oh, well, we'll have to see if they're up for it. Let's turn now to Pennsylvania, where Democrat and sentient dive bar John Fetterman only holds a slim lead over Republican who many suspect simply changed his first name to Dr. Dr. Oz due to a stroke that, according to New York Magazine, still affects him. It's going to be a tough call for Pennsylvania voters to decide whether they would rather have a senator with reduced cognition or a senator they wish had reduced cognition. Oz is really trying to pressure um, the Fetterman campaign to release more of his medical records to, um, you know, show whether he's hiding anything in his words mm -hmm. um, about his health. But, you know, Fetterman has been really open about the fact that, yes, he had a stroke and he has overcome it and he continues to work through that. Um, and in fact, you know, when Oz's campaign poked fun at Fetterman for having a stroke. His senior communications aide said that if Fetterman had ever eaten a vegetable in his life, maybe he wouldn't have had a stroke. That really backfired. Well, I'm just worried that Fetterman seeing a doctor and receiving adequate medical care will be very unrelatable to all those Americans currently treating their cardiac arrest with a toilet snake. Look, I've been wary of Dr. Oz ever since he sold me a skin tonic whose primary ingredient was ionized hog sphincters. Now, I know it's our job in the media to remain as unbiased commentators of our political system, I'm starting to worry that the country is driving toward a fascistic cliff and we're all just voting on what sort of gas we should put in the tank. I mean, does anyone agree here? Oh, no.
Hello, I am Chuck Todd. By threatening to fully comprehend the actual gravity of our political reality live on air, you have violated the sacred law of the news gods. It is the news media's humble calling to distract the masses with inane bullshit while our corporate overlords exploit the system to rob them blind. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, I won't do that again. You're not gonna push back at all? No, I'm good. I mean, I get to sit behind a big desk and, you know, be on TV. Okay, cool. Uh, so you want to grab drinks after the show? Uh, not really. Kind of sort of busy over here. With the, okay, you know, so stuff. some other time. Uh, we're you really busy, that. right, team? Pretty yeah. busy. Oh, yeah, sure. it's a beast to make. Swamp. Yeah, yeah, have you ever lot. played uh, Settlers of Catan? That sounds actually even worse than the other option, so I, I think I I'm going to be busy like for that, that too. Uh, Ouija, uh, do you want to hang out with Chuck Todd? or? Oh, I want to hang out with all of you. I mean, yeah. Uh, see, see, sorry, maybe sucks. we could have a drink and then play that game, which always really confused me, but it might make it more bearable. Oh, no, it's really simple. Here, I'll go through it real <laughs> oh, quick. Oh, no, Ouija. No, but no, no, Ouija. Don't, don't feed him. <laughs> <laughs>